Baptism must be 16. Uh, that is how I desire it to be. Uh, but now it is 12. I just want to give you this picture. Every day, at 3 o'clock, I was awake. Every single day. Three o'clock. I'm awake, preparing for the day. Every single day. I'm not ashamed of my calling. I'm not threatened by other people's callings. I have been blessed to have a father who have confirmed my calling. My calling does not depend on how many likes in the Facebook I have. Hallelujah. My calling is not threatened by somebody's calling next to me. I have spent time with my father and he has assured me of my calling even to details to a point that my father is pleased with my calling and that is all that I needed and as a result I have no burden to compete with anybody. At the same time, I am aware of those I am called to. And I am also aware that it's not a big number. But when they receive what I give to them, they don't bring revival. They bring revolution. They shake foundations. When I give them. Because as it is in heaven, so it is on earth. There are some specialists who are called for some spiritual engineering. Sometimes it's spiritual re-engineering. We come to foundations which are already built. And these people, they say, we want a double story. And their house was meant for a single story. Now, as a specialist engineer, I have to do a work which is not popular, which is not known by many people. Whilst the foundation is still existing, without destroying it, I have to reinforce the foundation. And it is a lot of work. And I, I don't have to spend time explaining to some people. I have to do the specialist job and finish it. And when I am done, I must commission my job. And, and, and this job which I, I, I have finished, I must give it a, a certificate of accreditation. That, that the, 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 the standards and compliance is, it is such that this building can, can, can house people in another floor. And I, I, I don't have to be apologetic, explaining to somebody who is passing by the road the details of what I'm doing. So I am also aware that even here in church, uh, this kind of calling 
of a scribal anointing. It's not a, a usual calling. So I don't have to be apologetic. Trying to, to you know, to say, I, you, you are going to, or you, or you're all going to love what, what, what I'm doing. You see. I know other ones, they love the evangelist. And I cannot compete with the evangelist. Yeah. Uh, the evangelist is for crowds because they must cross the race and they must cross it quickly. It, it does not mean you don't need a visa to cross. You don't need accreditation to cross. You must cross as soon as possible. Whatever you say you have, whatever level of understanding, it does not matter. You must cross quickly because Pharaoh is coming. You don't have to waste time. Anybody can cross. And that, that, that is uh, the evangelist. He is standing there, he saying, cross quickly. Do not waste time. The other one says, I have left this in Egypt. He says, no, it doesn't matter, cross over. But when they have crossed on the other side, when they arrive in, 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 in Mount Sinai, they have to spend one year of registration in the home affairs of Israel. The Bible said after they crossed, they had to spend one year even before they are given a single lesson just to make sure if you belong to Naphtali, there is your tribe. If you belong to them, there is your tribe. Everyone and to find his father, and to find his clan, and to find his tribe before they can teach. Now, that is where we appear as the scribes. That is where we appear, and our job might look like it is boring, and it might be very intensive. It might also be looking interrogative. And you might also be in a hurry to receive the way. And you want that fire up there to start shaking. But they will say to you, you must wait for a year. Because if you don't know who your father is, and you begin to know the way, and you begin to have a gift, you will be troubled. And that is what I'm here for. You see, even in the government, there is a public protector. And the one that we have, especially now, uh, she is not very popular because she does her work thoroughly. You know, if you could understand what is a public protector in the churches, there would be more mafias falling than the mafias that we have. And I hold that position. I hold it proudly. There are times when uh, in, in Geneva, whereby every discipline is sent there for standards. The accreditations, you know, the ISO, everything is in Geneva. Now, even soccer, the standards of soccer, they are also in Geneva. And they were looked after by a particular man. A very great man. And his name is still Seplata. But one day, even though he was looking at the standards, somebody came to look at his own standards. And FBI challenged him from the top. Though he was looking at the, at the compliance of the soccer below, somebody challenged him from the top. I am the FBI of the church. 
I challenge people from the top. It does not matter how you define the anointing you have. I am a scribe. I am the, the judicial. I am the auditor. When I come in a place, I have been given to audits. Whether you are doing profits for the church or you are doing profits for the kingdom. Yeah. Now that job is not popular. Praise the Lord. Amen. Today I'm going to be teaching you my last message. Again, I have never taught this message before. It has never been recorded anywhere. It is the first time that it is recorded. The topic of my message today says the dangers of accessing heaven outside Father, Son, and Wine Scheme. Upon the wine skin, your bitter, your tatamama. 